space, the final frontier. Teams of people from many different disciplines work together to jettison our best and brightest beyond the stratosphere. Our technology strives forward in leaps and bounds as we work together to keep our people physically safe as they journey where no man or woman has gone before. But what are we doing to keep them psychologically sound through that journey? And how can we learn from this for the good of humankind? These questions set the scene for our investigation. Emotional resilience in space. What are the emotional resilience requirements for living in space and how can these be developed? The study of resilience has blossomed with the rise of popularity in positive psychology. Historical investigations in the field often focused on pathologies and psychopathology. Antonovsky popularized the concept of salutogenesis or the focus of supporting and improving well-being as something separate from the idea of how we treat mental afflictions. Resilience is defined as a person's ability to recover from stressful experiences and bounce back from negatively impactful events. Space is an extreme environment and stress is available in plethora. Things that may cause stress may be physical, psychological, environmental or interpersonal. Resilience theories confirm that there are some biological factors that may influence resilience, such as absence of psychopathology, and that social contexts, such as childhood socioeconomic status, can influence someone's capacity for resilience. The key, however, to resilience building is training over time. This notion has significant implications for both life on Earth and in space. Space programs account for biological predispositions with pre-screening. Even so, they heavily train astronauts to prepare for the stresses of spaceflight. Astronauts receive ongoing psychological support from psychologists, ground crew, family and friends throughout the trip, and these practices are continued post-flight. So, what's the take-home message? We can get better at bouncing back from bad experiences. Here on Earth, we can learn from astronaut training programs and train ourselves. Whether it's jumping through lots of spiderwebs like Chris Hatfield recommends, or using therapies like CBT or DBT, we can practice focusing on positive emotions and build our own strategies for recovering from stress. Even building up our friendship groups and avoiding isolation can make you feel better at bouncing back. For more information, check out the Emotional Resilience in Space article linked below.